the, the initial idea really with it was to possibly change um, a few aspects of education that could be improved. We then started to um, create this, this bigger idea of if it can be implemented into medical education, maybe it can be implemented into all realms of education. We started to think maybe we could substitute PowerPoint presentations and, and normal didactic lectures with something maybe more stimulating, something that could have a, a high impact on learning and teaching. My name is Dr. Kapil Sugand and um, Pedro and I, uh, we worked at St. George's um, as junior doctors um, in A&D and after we finished our two years of um, working we had to decide what to do next. Pedro is um, a very innovative, imaginative person who learns very well through visual medium. Um, he had an idea. He said, Kapil, what if we can use 3D, virtual reality, holography, augmented reality, dynamic animations, all these buzzwords I never heard of before. We found a gap and we thought, would it be possible, would it be possible if we had the time, the money, the, the manpower to be the first people in the world to introduce it uh, into medical education and from there expand into other university academic disciplines, which has not been done before. We have the equipment and the technology to convert any 3D animation into a holographic image so that it actually appears closer to you um, than it than really is. And we have two days of back-to-back -back lectures covering anything between medicine and surgery. Medicine is an easy subject but it is difficult to communicate the abstract physiological concepts when disease uh, comes into the body, what happens? And that's why I think a lot of people think medicine is difficult. So what we are trying to do for the first time is rather than using static images on a 2D screen with PowerPoint, our aim is to revolutionize and change the face of medical education within the 21st century because we have access to that technology now. The Hamley Group, which is what we created and Pedro and I are co-founders and co-chairs and that stands for the Holography Assisted Medical Lecturing and E-Teaching. Um, initiative. What we want to do is we wanted to promote and enhance patient safety. That is the most important thing within the NHS. Pedro's parents have been uh, the major sponsors for the project as well as St George's University London for allowing us to use their premises. Imperial College London um, and especially the MSK lab which I belong to for helping out with the study methodology and research um, as well as Queen Mary's University London and Barcelona London for helping Pedro with this to do his masters.